What's going on guys? This is Noah with Northern Scavenger. It is mid-March out here in Nova Scotia and I am on the southern shore in the Annapolis Valley. This weekend I'm going to be going exploring a back of cabin that I heard of that's about 12 kilometers in from the road. I'm here by myself and it looks like the put-in is snowed in so I'm about seven kilometers up road which will require an extra a little extra bit of the hike today but I should still get there by mid-afternoon I hope and it's beautiful out so it's gonna be a great day to be outside. So far the going hasn't been too bad. On the side of the road, there's a little ice way for me, making dragging the sled a lot easier. So I finally made it to the first lake. I was talking to a local and he allowed me to walk down his driveway, which is about a mile long. And it saved me a couple kilometers because I would have still had to lap around the uh, this bay over here. He also gave me some pointers about spots to avoid and a good way to get to the cabin. It might be really windy right now, so you might not hear me, but my original route has open water. And that is not something I want to mess around with. I anticipated there to be sketchy sections. Because of that, I expect I'll be doing a lot of overland carries. If you're doing this, make sure to always proceed with caution. Alright, this is the first time in a little bit that I've actually seen ice and snow covered water. It's been completely open for the last hour. So I'm getting to the point where I have to really be careful how far I want to push it to get to this cabin. Or if I just camp somewhere that's a safe spot because I, I really don't want to risk it out here by myself especially. But this lake looks alright. I have about a kilometer of this. Throughout the rest of the day I'll take little sections and assess if it's doable or not because I don't want to get myself into a sticky situation. I've made it to the end of the lake before the lake I'm trying to get to. And look what I found. A white square, which I think means a portage right here. Until now, I've been kind of dip dodging and ducking between open water, frozen lake crossings and bushwhacking. This portage will take me to the final lake that has the cabin on it, the elusive cabin. And I don't know what to expect there. The, the lake is pretty skinny, so there might be open sections, but it's still pretty early in the day, so I think I can make it. All day I've been going back and forth thinking, can I make it, should I keep pushing it, should I stay here? But if you just keep taking it section by section and it seems safe, make it to the next section. If that seems safe, keep going. So. We'll see what the lake looks like when we get there. I don't see any open water, which is great. It's a little windy, but in about two kilometers, we should be at the cabin. Look at this. Home sweet home. Got a kitchen, 
Place to cook. Pots on pots on pots. So many pots. Wood burning stove. Dining room table. Beautiful views. Oh my goodness. I'm so glad I made it here. So glad. There's even thermo rests here. Wow. This place is literally chinked with moss. That's how you know it's legit. All right, well that was pretty challenging. To give you guys a perspective of that route, I started at 9.45 in the morning and it's about four o'clock right now. So that's over six hours of re re relatively, relatively non-stop snowshoeing. But long story short, I'm pretty exhausted right now. So I'm gonna take a little break, maybe lie down for like a half an hour or something just to re-energize. All right, time to get some firewood. And busting out the heavy artillery. So like most places where people come to, it's hard to get firewood. And a place like this, you're, it's, especially in the winter, it's really easy to burn a lot of wood. So it's, it's my obligation to make sure I don't use more firewood than I produce. So I was doing some scouting and I found a standing dead pine that's pretty big and it'll last way longer than my time here so that should be fine. Problem is this is I'm already pretty exhausted and this is really gonna do me in. Time for a break. As per usual, I brought a couple craft beers. And again, I think this is an Ontario brand. Cheers. Thanks for joining me. So the sun has set and I've made it inside and it is pretty dark in here. These candles are not really working out that well, but they're there for ambiance. All right, so I'll show you what I brought here. We got mushrooms, brother's pepperoni, which is a staple out here in Nova Scotia I've found, dehydrated tomato, and cheese. Keeping it simple out here, folks.
All right, now I'm gonna put that in the fire and make myself a nice little pizza. Oh, it's smoky. Not bad, eh? The bottom's a little burnt, but hey, we're camping. Also, I got a little special treat for that. Bacon bits. All right, you probably can't see me that well, but it's probably about nine o'clock. I'm wiped. I was going over the map and uh, there were a lot of sections today that had open water. A lot of bushwhacking. I should be able to make a better time tomorrow if I just followed my same track. But that's if I can still see the track. There's a lot of wind today. Maybe they'll be blown over. But regardless, I'm pooped and I think it's time for bed. So, I'll catch you guys tomorrow. I slept like a little baby last night. All my clothes are dry. Um, slept right through the night other than one time putting a little more fire on the fireplace, but oh, it was an amazing sleep. It's about 7.30 right now, and it's also Daylight Savings Day. So as we know, this is kind of like the first little inkling of spring. All right, so I'm all packed up. I cleaned up the place, get, got a new set of wood for the next guy. Replenished the tinder, kindling, and firewood, so they should be good to go. What a little gorgeous spot this is. Very nice. It was a great night to be here. Alright guys, that's a wrap. They were way back, took me about a little over four hours. Back of the car, car is still here, that's always a good sign. And uh, I'm pooped. It was a great weekend, great little cabin. And I think I'm gonna go get some food now. Thanks for watching. <laughs>